Okay, so this is a great day, and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. So I did some things. Um, I, I uh, got these valve covers. These are old-style Chevrolet valve covers. And I soaked them in vinegar, and I sanded and grinded on them, and I painted them. And I had an old uh, piston from a uh, air compressor, and I'm using it for an exit for the engine crankcase ventilation. I closed off the old crankcase ventilation back there in the back and the other side has this is a set of uh, vintage Chevy old style uh, valve covers with the Chevrolet name embossed on them that were set up for uh, a race car back in the 50s and they put these two uh, crankcase ventilation tubes on it which were not in, invented yet but, but to get more circulation through the engine they put those on there uh, I also this uh, valve this uh, uh, air cleaner here was something Stan gave me quite a few years ago and it was an old something like a 47 Chevy truck air cleaner it was all rusted out and he did some pinstriping on it uh, but it wouldn't fit anything it's an old oil bath air cleaner in fact it still has oil level written on the side of it I don't know if you can see it but it's over here somewhere I noticed it um, so I took it and basically kind of cut it apart and put it back together around a modern day style air cleaner so when I crank this this morning I'm going to be listening for things like is this getting enough airflow in there uh, and we'll find out based on how she runs and we'll start her up right now and find out the next big thing on my list to do is an overhaul of my garage my garage is a huge mess as you know I've been here for about two months building an engine and getting the rat rod going so I'm going to pull this out of here and start organizing the garage. I'd like to actually bring my lift back up here and set it in place because I want to get under and look at the front end of the Chrysler. And speaking of the Chrysler, there's a uh, a cruise in at uh, up in Belfast this evening. And some of y'all remember Jason. Uh, he's building that Model A coupe fenderless hot rod it lives not far from me jason had a stroke a few years ago so he's partially paralyzed so uh, it's a bit more of a challenge for him to get out and go to stuff so i'm gonna take him and his wife and they're gonna go up to the cruise with us later in the day he's gonna come over and i'll also if he can get in this thing i'll take him for a ride in it but we'll see so anyway for right now the big thing to do is to crank this baby up back her out of here and see how she sounds you know in light of the fact that i did what i did to that uh, air cleaner see if she's got enough airflow now keep in mind that it's cold it's uh like it's been sitting there two days cold so we'll see uh, how she starts and how she sounds oh the joy oh, oh the joy i am almost ready to register this thing get back on the road uh i don't i can't think of anything else that needs to be done to it to have it be ready for that uh might be a, a few little things but I'm, th I'm saying mostly it's ready to hit the road uh i do have to get some insurance on it and get it registered oh, uh, let's see how she's sounding today
Now I got some smoke going on here, but I had uh, I might not have enough ventilation going on here. I might need to put that back, open up that back hole also. I can do that though. Not a problem. It's hard to say I, I set the valves on this thing with the valve covers off the other day and I slung oil everywhere, but I think this coming out of here is probably a sign that I need to open that up. In fact, I could do that right now. All I have to do is uh, loosen that little thing right back there. Let me uh, get a wrench and I'll do that. See if that, see if that helps. Uh, let's see, that's gonna be one of these little ones I do believe. Uh, yeah. One of these ones. I did rub some uh, linseed oil on this thing too to kind of take out that dried up look. <laughs> I got valve covers leaking right here. I didn't. Uh, I didn't put any sticky juice under them. I just got them on there with uh, rubber gaskets. I wonder if I tightened those. Uh, uh, yeah, they're tight. They just. They're gonna need some sealer on there. That's okay. I don't need to. I don't need to do that right now. I let her cool back down. I don't know how hot she got. Not too bad. 120 degrees or something. Now I'll go ahead and do this, and then I'll bring her back in after I get this mess cleaned up a little bit, and we'll uh, do some gasket seal on them things. Oh joy! 